Okay, if you've seen our top 10 video, you know that I love Everdell. Trevin loves it too, yes. even though it ranks lower on his list. <laughs> but I have been hearing a lot about Far Shore, but I have no idea what it is about. Haven't looked it up, haven't done anything. And so this is our first reaction to the preview of the game done by Becca Scott. You yearn for a world where ducks have opposable thumbs, lobsters build urban settlements, and beavers turn from constructing dams to building ships? Well, then you're in luck, because today we are looking at the brand new Everdell Far Shore from Starling Games and Tabletop Tycoon. As you might know, there are a ton of different Everdell games. You've got the original, Belfair, Spirecrest, Pearl Brook. I mean, the list goes on. There's an Everdell for every season. <laughs> If you aren't familiar with the general vibe, check out our past videos on Everdell, linked in the description below. Tell me about Far the game. Is the next <laughs> development of this classic worker placement tableau builder that adds new flavor. Okay, from just looking at the board real quick, it looks just like Everdell. It's true. True or not true? The same layout. Look, there's the even a tree up in the corner. I think it's a lighthouse. Oh. But same idea. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at the cute boats though. <laughs> and mechanics so warm, to man. the Everdell world. In Far Shore, you'll go through Everdell's traditional four seasons of play, placing cute critter workers to collect oceanic resources like seaweed and driftwood, which are used to play cards to build out your tableau known as your city. You can also collect map tiles and sail your ship to hunt for treasure. Some new features of Far Shore include anchor tokens, which replace occupied tokens to play critter cards for free. Island tokens, which have powerful effects that change with the shifting tides of each season. And these adorable little ships! As They're you play so cards, cute. your ship moves around the map collecting treasure that can be spent as any resource or gains you two points at the end of the game. Plus, the ship itself gains points for how far you have sailed. Far Shore also has a solo mode in which you play against the crab pirate, Captain Bonnie. <laughs> Plus, there's rules for including Captain Bonnie as an automated opponent in games of two or three players. These rules include challenge levels to make Captain Bonnie a more fearsome competitor, and if you're really pushing for a contest, throw in those weather cards to add further impediments and up your difficulty. So if you, like Ishmael, feel the call of the sea, then take a journey to Everdell Far Shore. You don't need to have played an Everdell game before, and you don't need to own any other Everdell products to enjoy it, but it doesn't hurt. You can pre-order now. If you're on YouTube, click that link in the description below. And if you're watching... Mm. Okay, so it, it sounds like it's the same game. But different. <laughs> but different. Whoa, <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> it's true. Especially with like the tableau of cards or whatever. Just, even how it's laid out. It's kind of funny. Well, I do like the idea of having like a different part of the universe in the, in, world, in the world, in the game. But I'm not convinced. You're not convinced? Really? I can't. You're Miss Everdell. Well, I know. Let me explain. <laughs> My goal in life is to get all the Everdell expansions. Yes? Yes. We're working on it. <laughs> but I think that would fall in that category. So you'd get it out of necessity than want. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I feel like I'd want to play it first before I decided if I bought it before a different game. Not necessarily like any game, but I mean like in my order of buying Everdell expansions, even though it's technically not an expansion, <laughs> I would want to play it or do some more research on it, watch some more videos and see how it plays out. So then I can see, okay, where in my list of expansions that I want, mm. do I want to place it in? That's fair. Now I have two questions for the game. What? The first one being... Is is this a point tracker around it? Because it says you move your ship and like as far as you go, you get points. So like, is that the main thing? The second thing I have is are these meeples on the right side? Yeah, are you able to use them in Everdell? Like, do they have it so they're cross compatible? So I you mean, could, they have. Because what if you could take your meeples uh -huh. from the Everdell games and we use them in this, and they That'd have the and they, <gasps> they have powers at work? Stop! What if there was like a legacy version of Everdell? That'd be awesome. Like a saga. That'd be pretty sweet. I would buy. T I would take my money. Who is it? Who, who? Starling Games, call me. We'd like to make your I will buy them. legacy game. It'd be so awesome. And then you could switch, make, mix and match the meeples like you were saying. That's true. That, that would, would be, be pretty sweet. And then you play with that meeple every time. 
And you grow. And it's it'd be so cute. It'd be so cool. That would be awesome. And then, okay, listen. This is my new idea. What if, as you play the Legacy, you gain resources and you have, like, a little tote bag or whatever for your meeples? And you get to keep, like, the pearls from Pearl Brook. Like, you gain two from that and you can use them later in the game. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, far short, I don't know what else to say about you, but it looks good. I think I'd get it. Really? Like, if it was on the Why? shelf, I think I'd buy it. Because it looks like it has, it's trying to be different enough. Mm. To where I think it could be fun, and if it's good, it could replace Everdell. What? Maybe not. I don't know. Can't I, say that loud. No. No. Never. <laughs> it's too good. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, and make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>